Zach is here um, talking to you about our 12th episode. Um, actually, this is our 13th. It's even better. This episode is going to be regarding table of contents in Evernote. Now, I know I've already done a episode about this. Um, it was combined with other topics, but I have realized that table of it always comes back to table of contents for those of you who want to continue to be organized. And again, if you're not, if you're watching this video, chances are you do want to become more organized. And there's no better way of doing that than having table of contents for a multiple a multitude of reasons. And so let me let me show you exactly what I mean by that. So first of all, I have a shortcut on the left hand side here called TOC table of contents. At which point you'll see I have a, a bunch of notes here. Um, these are really called my master notes. So master notes are just an easier way to say, all right, if I need to find something um, that has to do with my car, right? Um, at which point I'll come to my master table of contents for both my wife and I's car, and I can find information on here at a very quick pace, right? Um, it, I've used this actually pretty frequently, um, and, and most recently I used this when my wife's car completely stalled in us on the freeway. Um, we needed to make sure that one, did we have towing insurance, right? Did our insurance cover a towing cost? I quickly pulled up my phone, went to my table of contents notes, went to my uh, insurance policy, quickly found it, found that I had roadside assistance, had the number within the roadside assistance right here, as you can see, and then we were towed very quickly, uh, and then we were on our way. Just a quick example, but you use this for other cases, right? We want to make sure that, I, that we know when we had specific uh, things done in the shop for either of our cars. Um, we, we paid off our cars, and so we want to make sure I put the titles in here. You can use this one for, for all kinds of things. Anything to do with your car, this is the place to put it. Um, this one is for my dog, right? You want to make sure you keep up with all your heartworm, all your vaccinations, uh, adoption papers, um, all, anything you've had done with your pets, this is the best place to do it. Um, I'm a big fantasy player who likes basketball, baseball, and football. I'm a big nerd who likes to organize that, so that's in there. I'm not going to go over that in detail. The master note for my family. This is one that I use quite, quite frequently. I know my stuff pretty regularly, but I put this in here um, because my wife has access to this. I want my wife to know if she does need my information, she can quickly pull up her Evernote and pull and, and find this very nicely outlined and laid out for her to do, and vice versa. Selfishly, I did this for me because I can't remember, I barely remember my stuff. And so I put not only I put her information, but also my kids' information. I don't have to go back, I don't have to call my wife, I don't go to my notes app and keep this stuff unencrypted where um, it's very accessible if someone gets a hold of your phone. I like to encrypt all this information. It's very important for me to keep this safe um, and nicely organized. Um, again, I have a, uh, I showed you this in the, in the previous video, but um, this is an example of all of my electronics that I like to make sure uh, that I have on file. Uh, a couple different reasons. If for some reason you were robbed, um, this is a nice ability to say, go back and figure out what models you had, how much was it worth, how much did you buy it for, and make sure you have those claims. Another good reason is, when I buy a TV and I want to put it on the wall, uh, it's very difficult if you want to make a program something to that TV like a remote control and go find those model numbers. Take a picture of it before you put it on the wall and then plug it into your Evernote. Um, sometimes I don't know what plugs I have in the back of my, in my TV. Another good way, just take a picture, you'll have it. You never have to go back and try to look behind the TV like I tried to do here <laughs> where I used a mirror when my TV was already mounted. Not the best idea. So it's always it's always helpful to, to have that uh, taken before you put those things. Um, projects, so I keep track of all my work projects. Um, very simple to do. I can always go back. By, I organize my projects by month. Um, whenever I do my focal point review or I want to make sure that I'm being productive, I just go back and look at it. Um, keep information on your house as a table of contents, right? Keep all your contracts here from your security system to your internet provider to your cable provider, your pest control to your gas. I don't remember when these projects go, or when these contracts go up. I make sure Evernote reminds me when that when those contracts do go up because it's important to shop around and make sure you're getting the best prices on whatever you're doing. Um, 
frequently use phone numbers, right? Uh, for my AC guy, plumbers in case of emergency, keep that information in here. When you when I bought the house, I want to make sure I have all the you, know, you get gobbles of paperwork that that come with it. Um, you just want to make sure you hold on to that information. A CRM, right? Um, customer relationship management. I want to make sure that I am talking to the people that I want to stay in contact with. Networking is huge in my line of work. And so here I make sure that I document those conversations. That way I can always come back to it and remember that important information that they told me previously. You'll be surprised on how impressed some of my mentors will be, uh, some of the things that I remember and follow up with because of that. Um, that is basically it um, for table of contents. If you have any other ideas, I'm always, always looking to learn on how else I can utilize Evernote. I hope you found some use out of this. If you have any comments or questions, um, please shoot me an email at zyn uh, at gmail.com. I am a certified Evernote consultant. Happy to help you wherever I possibly can. Thank you for watching, guys.